The Wood Elf economy is one of, if not the worst, economy in total in World Warhammer 2. Unless, of course, you consider their ability to steal endless volumes of money from the other races around them, then yeah, then they can have an economy. Welcome back with another video with Linksy, and today I'm going to show you how the Wood Elves can generate money and be able to maintain those juicy, juicy three men stacks. First and foremost, you need to forget what you know about playing uh, Total War. All the other factions do not apply for the Wood Elves. Think of them as a hybrid, a hybrid horde army. As a faction that cannot really expand, but can build borders, cannot become an empire as strong as the humans, as the dwarves, or their dark elf or high elf cousins. They work with a unique mechanic that anchors them to a specific location on the map, limited volume of infrastructure, and subsequently economic buildings. So how can they succeed? How can you succeed with them? Their economy is severely limited. Yes. They have limited movement. Yes. And most of their settlements are indefensible after you take them. Moreover, this leads to a soft cap on how many armies you can field on the campaign map and how many troops you can field in the battlefield. Well, the solution is very simple. You see those fat, rich empires that grow all around you? Think of them as fruits and think of yourself as the gardener and it's harvest season. Yes, the wood elves prosper through war. You need to create a plan and start systematically annihilating one faction after the other. And you should be generating so much money from sacking and post-battle loot that your cash reserves should easily skip over 250k within 100 turns. Allowing you to fill two to three doom stacks, if not more, while holding only a fraction of the trees that you need. This comes from various text trees, skills, while limited, do boost your income significantly. Notably, Wonders of the Forest Blue skill line, where you get an increased 20% post battle loot and 10% from raising settlements. Now, raising settlements not always the best idea but you can make some money there. Further to this, you get more and more trades from winning countless battles that do help your sacking, your raiding, and your winning battles. Lastly, the tech, Nertu, Keeper of the Last Boom, is a technology that increases post-battle loot by an additional 10%. The legendary Lords are also very important as they do boost post-battle loot income and raiding, which, let's be fair, it's not real money in this game, and from sacking cities. Most lords give in getting an item or a skill that gives them an additional 10% post-battle loot bonus, there to an Orion. Draika has a skill as well, yet this is minimal in the grand scheme of things and you're generally not going to be playing with just your legendary lords. Especially with the Wood Elves, where they hate each other so much that it's very difficult to confederate. Does that mean that you can be a rich Wood Elf? Well, yes, yes you can, but that comes at the cost of killing every faction around you in the process, systematically eradicating the planet of every possible faction other than trees. And in summary, you need to adopt a strategically specified route that is just for the Wood Elves. You can play tall, you can play wide, however your main source of income will come from sacking and post-battle loot, and your tree boys will finally be affordable, even if at a general loss. I hope this will help you to understand what you need to do with the damn trees, if only they included a system where you can photosynthesize and tree men do not need gold to get paid. This has been Linksy and I wish you a good day, goodbye.